Let's go! Today, guys, we got a very interesting video. If you remember a while ago, I asked you for some coins that were out of the radar, some coins which you think was underappreciated in the crypto markets right now, the next 100x altcoins. And out of thousands of emails, I have now looked at almost every one of them. And so far, I've found three coins I want to talk about today. So guys, this is definitely something that is going to be of interest to you. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Cristiano, bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day, teaching you how to make money in this market. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right now. And guys, before we start off this video, as I said in this tweet right here, I'm looking for the coins which are outside of the radar coins, which is something different. I'm not looking like the next, uh, or I'm not, not, I'm not looking for the next Ethereum, like Ethereum, but faster. I'm not looking like an NFT platform, but better. I'm looking for something that is completely different. And uh, yeah, you know, some people have been telling me about Luna. I mean, Luna is a cool project. It's going to uh, probably do very well, but it's not what I'm looking for right now. Uh, some people have been talking about Engine. <clears throat> Same thing there. It's a project I think is going to be successful, but it's not something that, you know, is completely different from what's around today. So uh, these coins are also maybe going to uh, make you triggered. Maybe you are going, <laughs> maybe you are going to uh, uh, not like the projects, but whatever. I'm looking for the coins which are outside of the radar. And today, the first thing I want to talk about is actually Pulse Chain. So Pulse Chain is uh, Richard Hart's uh, project, which is uh, something that has never been done before. This is what is the definition of something that is under the radar. And why is this under the radar? Well, because it's founded by or it's created by Richard Hart. And, you know, some people hate him. Some people, uh, you know, love him. But um, one thing that is for certain is that he is uh, very outspoken. I mean, it's uh, very obvious that he believes in what he is doing and he created Hex. So he's the founder of Hex and uh, this coin Hex was designed to go 1000x and so far it has been going up by uh, 761 uh, 100x if I understand things correctly. If you look at the chart of Hex right here, you can see that he has been doing extremely well. So why am I showing this? So no matter what you think about Hex or, or Pulse or whatever, Hex has done extremely well and uh, it's due to the guy right here, Richard Hart, right? So now he is uh, launching the Pulse chain, which is essentially a fork, a complete fork of Ethereum. This has never been done. And uh, it's from a kind of technological standpoint, completely insane. So it's going to be really, really interesting to see how this is going to play out. Now, I'm not getting into Pulse myself. In fact, if you want to get into Pulse, uh, well, then you can sacrifice your crypto and you get Pulse. And uh, look at this, $600 million worth of uh, Ethereum has been sacrificed. Now, there was something um, kind of similar uh, with this launch, like the launch of Hex as well. And I think these funds, even though he is not telling you that, I think these funds, which are being sacrificed for Pulse, and that was sacrificed for for Hex, although the definition was a, a bit uh, different. Uh, but anyway, you were able to put in money and you got Hex. And that money probably is going straight to Richard Hart. So basically, you are more than nothing else, betting on Richard Hart to be able to pump your project. And this is what he was able to do with Hex. And this is what is the uh, purpose of Pulse Chain, I believe. So you're basically uh, betting on Richard Hart doing uh, big things with the Pulse Chain, just like he did with Hex. So we will see about that, guys. I'm not invested in this. And be careful, as you know, um, he is uh, a big factor to why Hex succeeded. It's going to be a big factor uh, for if Pulse is going to succeed. But it's something completely different. And this is what caught my attention. And there was also um, Arc X Money. This was another coin that was sent to me. And by the way, guys, when you send these types of coins, please do give a uh, very good like explanation so I can go through them like at a glance. Now, I didn't, uh, this was RevPop. I didn't uh, talk about this in this video. But I mean, something like this, very defined, very structured, this makes it easy for me to actually go through the projects. And another one was this, uh, Telos. 
And uh, yeah, I mean, it looked interesting, but the coin I'm going to talk about soon. First, I'm going to quickly mention ARKX Money, which is building a credit score on the blockchain. And uh, this is very cool. This is something that is also pretty unique. And this is something that can take off. I do see a lot of potential in this. And uh, the third thing I want to talk about is actually something else. So this is a project which really caught my attention. And this is also one of those projects which you can easily uh, brush off. But if you look at it realistically, it does make sense. So this was the thread. And so I'm just going to show you this. So one of the most successful companies recently is OnlyFans, where millions of simps pay to watch exclusive content from creators. These creators are making millions. Even relatively unknown creators are making huge money. So the demand is clearly there. So you can go and back up these numbers as well. And, uh, you know, obviously this is something you're probably aware of already. You're seeing more and more uh, celebrities joining this just because they're making so much money on this platform. Uh, so I think even Cardi B is, is uh, on, on that platform right now. But anyway, let's continue. So another massive theme recently is the rise of NFTs. And the most successful crypto recently has been Axie Infinity. So you combine the two and no matter what your personal opinion is, it clearly has big potential. People are paying millions for dirty underwear <laughs> and people will probably pay as much for exclusive content from their favorite content creator. Among the co-founders for this particular project, uh, and I cannot you know, uh, pronounce this because my video will probably get demonetized, but you got the uh, name right here. But we have a former marketplace expert from Amazon the former COO of Miro, which is a French unicorn that raised more than 350 million, and Fred Capula, the biggest film producer in this niche in France. So after having raised 2 million in private sale from big tech, uh, big French tech players, they are currently in the public sale, which lasts until July the 30th. Also, something very important, they want to make the space better from an ethical standpoint, um, and a small percentage of the token of each transactions, which uh, well will be burned, but also a percentage will be redistributed automatically to the associations of the sector. As always, do your own research. So yeah, this is something which is uh, pretty unique. Now, when I said that NFTs are taking off, just look at Axie Infinity. This is insane. I mean, this is 10x in what like one month. Completely insane, and this is generating a lot, a lot of volume right now, a lot of profit in the protocol. And if you combine these two, as I said, it is a very good recipe for success. So some of the people behind this project are actually some of the most prominent figures in this niche, have been working with uh, some of the top players uh, in, this, uh, in this sector for many, many years. And they are also onboarding these to their platform right now. What else is there? Well, they are doing their sale right now. Seems like they have raised 6.5 million so far in this public sale. And uh, I believe it was 2 million they raised in their private sale. So it's clearly interesting to a lot of people right now. But if we continue down here, you've got the roadmap, you got everything right here. And uh, yeah, I mean, this was very well structured. I saw there was some projects actually uh, doing something similar, but the thing is that uh, they did not have the same pedigree as this project behind them. So if you combine the team, you combine all of that, this did look very interesting to me. And also in their beta, they have actually already sold one of their NFTs, and I believe it sold for like $10,000, and it had uh, one of the famous French actresses actually, and so, yeah, they are already selling that. And they are onboarding, as I said, some of, the, some of the big players in this space due to the connections they have since they've been working it for so long. And apart from that, well, what do they do? They do have a very diverse business model that you can find in their white paper. So I'm going to link the white paper for, for the, this project as well as some links for the uh, other projects as well. So you got all of that. But they have already negotiated exclusive contracts with different actors and actresses to launch a actually video platform that will be a mix of uh, of the uh, platforms I've been showing you, like uh, OnlyFans right here, and also some just regular websites as you understand them. So these are going to have exclusive content. So you can already get the idea. It's uh, going to be a mix of a traditional, uh, you know, adult website and OnlyFans 
and like a Twitch included in it. And so while staking the tokens or buying the NFTs of an actress to get personalized and exclusive content, you get also private videos and much more. Another thing that is actually very important is that they're looking to make this uh, industry better from an ethical standpoint. And so how do they do this? Well, there's a couple of different things. You first get educational messages to young people who are watching these uh, actresses or actors. And uh, yeah, you know, this is not real life. And also, just like I said, a small percentage of the tokens of each transaction will be burned, but also a percentage will be redistributed automatically to the associations of the sector. So that's very important. In conclusion, this is something unique. It's something that clearly has a big market. It is something I think could have but have the potential to do very well. Is it going to do well? I mean, do your own research. This is crypto. Anything can happen. But the same goes for, you know, Pulse. I think Pulse has the uh, potential to actually uh, do well as well. But it's all about this guy. It's all about if he is able to kind of, you know, get the same kind of effect on Pulse as he had on Hex. So I will link, uh, I will leave all of the links in the description for all of these projects. Let me know what you think about them in the comment section. And also, if you want to submit more projects, well, make sure to do so over on my Twitter. But please do make sure to do it in a structured way like this, not just like, hey, bro, this is a very good project. They have a good team. Check it out. It doesn't help me at all. So structured, leave them in the in the comment section, not in the comment section here, send an email, I mean, send an email and I will see you guys in the next video.